about anybody else, but that was the best sleep I've had in a while. Oh man, let me sit down. There we go. Says the person who had their own bed to sleep in. Uh, there, there weren't enough beds. Why didn't you guys just go back to the inn? We, we didn't, we kind of didn't want to go too far from you. Didn't want to wake up and you were gone again. Yeah, please try not to do that in the near future. Uh, shook the three of us pretty badly to not know where you were. Oh, um, I'm, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to scare you guys like that. Oh, um, good morning. When I said my plan was to bring her back to her room in the end afterwards, that was the truth. Things just got way more complicated than I thought they would. Speaking of which, why Dixie? I mean, why did you need her help? Could you just explore that place on your own? Well, yeah, I could have explored it on my own, just felt like I needed backup on this one. And I don't really know why I felt I needed her specifically, she just felt like the right person uh, for the job. I uh, wish I could give you guys a more solid answer on that, but that's the only way I can explain it. Well, one thing is for sure, just keeping an eye on you whenever you're around isn't enough. I talked to both Leo and Zoe about this yesterday afternoon. Orion, you're officially a part of our little adventuring party, whether you like it or not. Um, guys, you didn't talk to me about this. Sorry, but after the events that happened a couple of nights ago and, well, the aftermath, we really don't trust your opinion right now, at least in regards to this guy. But, hey, wait, Zoe has a point. You were way too quick to trust this guy. I mean, yes, he did save your life, but he was also the reason you were in the predicament you were in in the first place. This, that is true, and I apologize about that, but don't I get a say in this? No. No. Sorry, but no. Fine, but don't be mad at me when I chime in on things from time to time. Depends on what it is. What are you good at if you don't mind me asking? I mean, besides kidnapping our friend here. Ouch, man. I'm good at magic, combat, tracking, being a pain in your... What type of magic? Mainly shadow, but I can do the other elements as well. Not too great at traditional healing, but I have my own version of it that seems to work well whenever I have to use it. Well, looks like you won't have to do all of the healing for the group anymore, Zoe. Yeah, let's hope that Leo can stand to not annoy and or tick off the local wildlife. You guys are never going to let me live that down, are you? Nope. Not a chance, brother. You know how I like to tease you. Siblings? Huh? Oh, yeah, uh, Lydia and Leo are twins. Oh, nice. Do you two know what type of magic you use, or can you use magic? Well, we really haven't had the chance. Uh, um, growing up, we never had the chance to check. We've discussed it in the past, eventually trying to figure out if we could and what we could use slash learn, but so far we haven't gotten as far as to actually finding out. Why do you ask? Well, I see that you both are half fey, and I just got curious. You too, Miss Sari. Uh, what magic do you use? Other than healing, I mean. Oh, me? I use mostly healing magic and some light magic. I can use some water magic as well, but I'm currently in training to be a healer. By the person we're trying to find the person named Ivan for, actually. What's with the sudden niceties? Well, I don't like being a jerk all the time. 
and as you know, I will be traveling with you all, apparently whether I like it or not, I thought I'd at least be a bit nicer. Makes traveling easier. Makes sense. I, uh, guess I should apologize for putting my sword to your throat. Twice. <laughs> yeah, twice. Um, I was just worried about our friend here. Don't worry about it. I understand. I've done worse when it comes to protecting my friends in the past. Oh? They're long stories, and I'm sure you guys would rather figure out what to do and or where to go next to find the Ivan person. I could help with that, actually. How? Well, with my shadow magic, I have the ability to do this. And it makes it very easy to blend in with the shadows and path through things. Like walls to gather information. Wow, that's so cool. Ah, uh, uh, sorry, if you... What my brother is trying to ask is if you could gather what you can of information on the person we're looking for. You should probably know all the info that we do on the guy. Uh, he has white hair, is a healer, lives near the sea, and that's pretty much it. We did find that someone with a great amount of uh, healing magic went to the Stun Sunstead Academy nearby, but we aren't sure if the two are connected yet. Although, I have a hunch that they are. Okay, uh, thanks for the info. I'll be off then. I'll regroup around noon outside the pub. Sure, sounds good. Uh, yeah, sure. See you then. Okay, so I guess we all meet up at the pub at noon. Who wants to go with who? Or do we even want to split up? Because every time we do something unplanned happens. Hey, wait a minute. That doesn't happen all the time. What about the time when we first arrived in town? Yeah, but that's when we met Orion. But... Wait a minute. And then there was the night when we split up to sleep. Get... What... Yeah, good point. Settle on going as a group this time. Maybe we should go investigate that academy nearby? We could, but I'd feel better if we went as a whole group, Orion included. That way he can't steal a certain person away when we're not looking. Uh, okay, guys, I think we should give Nixie some slack. I mean, their goal last night was to just investigate that abandoned manor, and her and Orion weren't expecting what happened to happen. Also, can we stop just berating her with like every sentence? Like, yes, I know she's made a couple of mistakes in the past couple of days, but everyone does that. Not saying we can't be cautious, especially in regards to Orion, but we can still rely on her, even if we have to keep a closer eye on her for a bit. Guys, I'm right here. Like, like Lydia said, can you, can you stop talking about me? Like, I'm not here, please. That would be great. Ahem, <clears throat> right. Uh, sorry. So, are we just gonna go around town as a group? Uh, I guess I can go ask the guards, but not sure how friendly we're gonna be after the events of last night. Yeah, uh, not too sure how they're gonna be helpful to us. Um, from my experience, they're a good source of information, but the information I was looking for when I asked was about the local area and the best places to purchase supplies. Um, I'm, I'm sure we can ask, but if we're asking for something more specific, like Lydia said, uh, I'm not sure how helpful they'll be. Hmm, good point. I mean, it wouldn't hurt just to ask and see. If you all don't mind, can we ask the ones by the gate and then maybe cruise the market for intel? 
Well, I guess we can start with the guards at the entrance. It's better than nothing, and they must at least have some intel about the area from when we for when we start traveling more, I guess. Anyone find anything? <sighs> nope. Other than the typical guards gossip, I got nothing. How about you, Nixie? Uh, that's a negative. I've heard plenty about how this person is doing this, or this person needs to work on blank. But as far as any tangible information we can actually use, I got nothing. Maybe Orion's found something? I hate to say this, but I hope so, because you'd think this town has more, uh, but we keep running into dead ends. I mean, we do have that academy that we could check out, although I was waiting till we got back back met back up with Orion to go check it out. <laughs> you alright? Huh? What? Oh, um, me? Yeah, I'm, I'm fine. I just got cold all of a sudden. Someone must be talking about you somewhere. Or she could have just gotten cold due to the wind coming from the coast by the market. True, but I heard... Good grief, man! Are you trying to give us all heart attacks? Um, no, that wasn't my intention. I just thought since it was noon, I should rejoin the group. What is with you in constantly giving us jump scares? I didn't mean to, honest. Anyways, have you guys found anything? We were just having that conversation, and we got nothing. Besides, well, the local gossip, but that doesn't really help in regards to trying to find someone. True. When I checked the town, I really didn't get anything. Oh, um... Overheard you're looking for someone. Um, yes, 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 we are, but who are you? My name's Ziva. I run the potions and magic shop just behind me. Anyways, you're looking for someone, right? Yes. Well, I didn't mean to eavesdrop, but you guys are a loud bunch, and I think I might have some information that you could use. Okay, and? Well, a few years back when I first moved into town there, there was talk of a strange man with the largest amount of mana. I'm sorry, did you say mana? Mana, or otherwise called magic reserves in one's body. I anyways, the person, I ha the person had the largest mana reserves that anyone had seen in the area, and well, several decades at least. Said he lived and worked in the academy, but then just up and left one day, never to be seen again. Oh, we were planning on checking the academy next, actually. Well, glad I was able to help. Oh, and while you're all down at that academy, could you leave a message that I might need some help acquiring some potion-making components soon? I'd appreciate it. Um, who exactly do we relay this message to? Oh, my apologies. I should have mentioned that. Just tell the person who's in the office located just left of the entrance to the academy. I think they're also the person you ask about personnel uh, for the academy and where the rooms are anyways. Oh, okay. We'll relay that message then. And thank you for the information. Don't mention it. You lot have a nice day now. What a strange woman. Does everyone want to go to the academy first or have a bite to eat? I, for one, would like to have something to eat. 
He's a lot more mana than planned in the past couple of days, so I need to eat so I don't pass out. Uh, you'll pass out if you don't eat? Well, sort of. What he means is that he either needs to take a really long nap or eat something so his body doesn't give out as it's trying to rebuild his mana reserves. Oh, um, I never really have had that problem before, so I didn't know. Sorry. You're good. Can't really learn something if you don't ask. Well, sis, it is noon, so it wouldn't hurt to grab something to eat before heading over to the, uh, the academy. Especially since we don't know how long it'll take to investigate the area anyways. Good point. Better go get a table then. Alrighty, what can I get for you? And you better not be making no trouble today. No sir, no trouble making today. Can I order some rabbit stew with lemonade? I'll have the same, sir. Okay, and you too? Oh, I'd also like um, some rabbit stew with lemonade, please. I'm, I'm the same, sir. And I'll have two servings of rabbit stew, a butter tart, and with fresh milk, please. All of that just for you, lad? Yes, sir. I'm really hungry today. Alright, if you say so. Better eat all of it, though. Don't like it when customers waste food. You have my word, sir. I'll eat every last scrap. So, are you trying to start an eating competition or something? Yeah, never seen someone order so much food in one sitting. Except for after a battle, that is. What? No, I'm just really that hungry. My shadow form took up more energy than I realized it would. Last time I used it, I had access to... Access to what? Um, nothing, nothing, it's not important. Anyways, what did you guys find while you were asking around town? Okay, besides the regular town gossip, we didn't find anything of use. Except what that lady Ziva told us, that is. Yeah, I don't like being eavesdropped on, but in the end, she did give us a place to look. I mean, we were pretty much at a dead end otherwise. What'd you find, her, right? Well, stopped the market some and basically got little to nothing. Besides an older gentleman who said that, like the lady Ziva said, a guy just up and up and moved out of the blue and no one's seen him since. Alrighty, uh, plans for moving forward after we eat our food? Um, guess we head to the academy? Cool with me, Zoe? Hmm? Oh, sorry, I was a little more hungry than I thought, but that sounds fine with me. Uh, it's fine with me. Although, I think someone might have ordered more than his stomach could handle. Hey! I said I'd eat it, and I will. Just a bit... Whoa, a kid. Careful. Who is this? Right? That's what the weird thing's happening lately. What? Oh, apologies for just, just popping in like this, but, but the kid is in a bit of a pickle at the moment. How can we help? Well, we should probably get somewhere that's less crowded. Is there anywhere we can go that's more private? Uh, I'm sure Jane won't mind if we use the area in front of her house by the river. Alright, first class teleport coming up! Okay, okay, make some space. What's wrong with him? 
You better not be trying to pull our leg. Um, I, I, I don't think he is, guys. How do you know? I, I, I have no idea. Just maybe just call it a gut, gut feeling. Well, anything we can do was Merrick your name? Yes, that's my name. If you could get blankets and a healer, heck, even a magic user. Honestly, this has never happened before. But he's never been separated from being forcefully thrown into another dimension like he was recently, either. I'm sorry. What? He... <sighs> He'll get over me telling you all. He's currently from the nether. Currently? Wait, Nixie, remember that portal incident a couple months back? Could it be connected? What nether portal incident? Oh, um, when Nixie first showed up, we found another portal near the village where we all live in a cave, and then suddenly Nixie just passed out on me. Actually, not the first time she's just randomly passed out before either. How big was it? Um, it was bigger than normal portals are? And what do you mean currently from the nether? They're not... Portals are normally big enough for just a person to walk through. And that part from where he's from is complicated. Dorian, no, don't. Okay, here's as many healing potions as Jane can spare. <coughs> Who's Dorian? Orion's younger brother. He has a younger sibling? Is he alright? I... I'm not really sure. He's warded so I can't see and or interact with him. Wait, 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 wait. What do you mean he you can't interact with him? Um, he's, uh, uh, he's how you say, uh, I'm not like you all. I'm what you call a god. What? Well, that explains the random popping in then. Um, is, is Orion? By using my magic to teleport everyone here, I was able to stabilize him. But he's not out of the woods yet. And I honestly don't know what to do. It's almost like someone or something is sucking his magic away from him even when he naturally absorbs it back into himself, in turn keeping him in this critical condition. Usually I have my... <gasps> you... Later, Merrick, what can I do to help? I know this is a stupid question with having a different type of magic, but do you think you could somehow help with replenishing his mana reserves? He mostly uses shadow magic, so other than keeping his physical body stable, I can't really help in that department. Although, if someone were to have a magical connection with him... But the only person who has that connection is... I know. I know. Shadow magic? Um, no, I don't use any magic, actually. Well, not at the moment. Maybe it's time. But that would mean... Yes, yes it would. 
It was bound to start breaking eventually, and in my opinion, now's a better time than any. Those spells shouldn't have been cast to begin with. <sighs> sure hope you're right. I'm gonna roll up my sleeves and take some my gloves off. Um, okay, uh, now that I have my gloves and I fixed my sleeves, let's see what I can do. 